What we've seen now, more and more people want to travel. More and more people want to get out into the remote areas. It's, it's safe in the remote areas. Exactly. I mean, if you look and think, getting into a car now and going to some of the remote parts of your own country, yeah. wherever you're living in the world, yeah. is brilliant. You know, you're getting to see your own country. You've just done a trip up yeah. to Johannesburg through all the back roads and exactly. small places. And I think when, when, you, when you do that, you become much more in touch with what's happening in your own country. We often forget the beauties and gems exactly. in our country. And each trip you do, you learn a little bit more about yourself, you learn a little bit more about your truck, and probably also your needs and what you don't need. And that's key, because you know, if you take that on board and go, when I come back from the trip, what worked, what didn't work, what can we improve on? You know, and I do that in my relationship. What works, what doesn't work, what can I improve on? But when you're doing it with your truck, you come back and you're refining. And more often than not, you're getting rid of stuff that you don't need. You are simplifying a lot of the processes and a lot of what you feel could be just made much easier. And it becomes more enjoyable. Exactly. So, you know, it's, uh, it's really interesting. So what we've got here, we've got a a range of different vehicles. Some of the trucks are petrol vehicles, some of them are diesel, and you know, I've started off, we've got 105 over there, we've got another one here, and these are both petrol. And are you sourcing these up country or all over the you know, are you, you source vehicles from where you can get them. And when I'm sourcing vehicles, I'm, I'm really looking at the best vehicles I can lay my hands on. Some are easier to find and some are more difficult to find. And I think, you know, when anyone's looking for vehicles, there's a process you should really follow when you're going to sort support and look for a good vehicle. You should definitely take support from someone who can give you good advice, someone who can help you check the vehicles. So I talk a lot of that through with clients. And that's, another, that's another holy grail checklist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you find that when people are looking to buy a vehicle, uh, some of them I've I've never met. They're in different countries around the world. And I, I'm really trying to support people in how you can look for a vehicle to avoid some of the pitfalls and problems we can get when you're buying a vehicle. It's very difficult to buy a vehicle and know the full history. So these, all these vehicles in here are clients of, of, of ours and of mine that have bought vehicles. Some of them have been prepared. The one behind me is still going to be prepared. That's another one. That's an 80 series. That's been well prepared, well driven on a number of trips. Um, we've got a, we'll get closer, we've got two troopies in here, we've got a, uh, this troopie here is going to have the roof conversion done on it, we've got another couple that are having the roof conversions done. Again, to find troopies is really hard work, you know, so when we do, I grab them with both hands and there's a lot of people looking for those sort of vehicles. So I'm also looking at the 76 series, 76 series I think is a great vehicle. It doesn't replace the sleeper. Tri a bit of a sleeper. It's one of those vehicles that was kind of people use, but it never took off as popular as a lot of the other cars. And I think the 76 has enormous value. And there are a couple of companies here that are building these pop up roofs for them now. And I think that's just phenomenal. You know? And they're still making them here, which is a big bonus. We're still, we're still getting the 76s. We're still be able to look at it and say, if I took the 76, you know, you've got people who want to live in a vehicle. And it's a discussion you and I had off camera a little while ago. And, and a lot of people are looking and saying, can I have a vehicle that I can live in? And, you know, traditionally, most vehicles built in Europe, you can live in as opposed to out and around, really because of weather conditions. And here, most of the vehicles are built, so you're living out and around the vehicle. But living in the vehicle gives you that option just to get you out of the inclement weather, to just give you that little bit more security, maybe a little bit more comfort, you know, and, and I think there's, there's a big calling over the years that people have wanted that. Especially in terms of wild animals, some Europeans are, and even South Africans are uncomfortable in <coughs> wild animals. Uh, you know, I think it's again, again based on your experience. You've got a lot of people who have uh, not got, uh, got huge amounts of bush experience with wild animals, so you're going to feel a little bit safer when you can get into a car doesn't negate the risks and the an elephant problems. will still an elephant could still if you've got a bag of oranges in your car <laughs> that's a no no so um, going back to looking for vehicles you know the 76 and the, the troopy because we can't get 
troopies in South Africa anymore brand new. The old ones are like hen's teeth and gold dust. So uh, when we do find them, yeah. So I've looked now and saying, well, if we take a 76 series, how can I build it? And I'm building a few at the moment. Could you 30 mm. mile extend the, th the 76? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not quite. But you know, just taking the standard 76, which is slightly shorter than the troopy, yeah. about 230 centimeters, centimeter, uh, millimeters. There's not a lot. Not much in it then. There's not a lot in it. Uh, there are other little changes and differences. Your key thing is you've got two doors at the back to give you extra access, which and, doesn't and always door, serve you. As well to get you've in. got the front doors to yeah. get in and out, but for two people, you've suddenly got access from the sides, which you don't have with the Troopy. So there are some advantages. There are different ways in how you can manage you know, access. Access is the key thing. I've always said to have access to your vehicle, to get in and out of your vehicle is really important. So yeah, that, that's something we're looking at. We're looking at the pop proof on the 76. We're looking at building the interior of the 76 for two people to live in and make it work. You know, it absolutely can. And those vehicles are available. And the pop roofs are, are, are <coughs> con continually evolving. Continually. And there are a lot of great innovations, good thought processes into them. They get feedback. You know, the good companies are taking feedback from the clients and actually building them into the, into the new improvements. That's what we want.